water timing so as I'm working on the new tank I can already see that the beta fish is attacking more of my panda curries. As he has already attacked one of the panda curries, I wanted to save the remaining so the faster I finish this up the better it is. Hey guys welcome to my channel thanks for watching my previous video and as always this is actually follow up of one of those videos where I explained a little bit more about my beta fish journey and my mistake of putting him with other tank mates especially with uh, Corey's and, uh, and and the unfortunate incident that happened so due to that I decided to you know get my beta fish a new tank and uh, this is a quick snapshot of you know how I set up the particular tank and also my thought process behind some of some of some of my mistakes and you know lessons learned so let's get rolling so created the space for the tank right next to the existing one and uh, this is a decent sized tank and it's lesser in length in comparison to the previous tanks and I think for this particular size uh, I can squeeze in one more tank in the future as well so I kind of gonna keep that in mind and I use the aircon in the hall so temperature usually drops to 24 23 so I've read that the ideal temperature for a beta fish is somewhere in the range of um, 24 to 28 degrees so I tried to rely on the heater just to keep the beta healthy nothing super fancy just got some basic uh, auto feeder plants and I also had some leftover aqua soil from my previous setup so that's what I'm going to be using here water timing so as I'm working on the new tank I can already see that the beta fish is attacking more of my panda curries as he has already attacked one of the panda curries, I wanted to save the remaining. So the faster I finish this up, the better it is. So starting with the aqua soil. Just a very quick, quick, simple, basic setup. Um, time to wet the soil. This will help in planting the plants. Not much actually, just a few. Simple basic plants, Amazon swords and uh, hair grass. They're quite easy to grow and low maintenance. And time for water. So I'll be using 50% of my existing aquarium's water just to help in the cycling process since it's a new setup. And uh, betas are quite hard to fish and um, I don't think there will be any complication in transferring the fish straight to this tank right after this. So here we go. Uh, yes, I have added the fish inside. Sorry guys, I was not able to capture that. You might be wondering what's that particular pump doing inside that because it's a high current um, um, pump. I don't have a choice because um, the fastest way to clean, clean this particular water and get more clarity is to use a filter which is a little bit more high powered but uh, I have kept the current towards the other side of the glass which does so it doesn't affect the the beta fish and I'll be using it only just for a day or two just to get the water clear like you know as in this tank and it's a used filter as well I took it from the top setup down beneath um, so which which means that it already has the bacteria in it and will help further increase the speed of the cycling process he's fine he's settling in well and he's exploring his new home and uh, the quarries they sh now should be at least a bit more relieved and I'm thinking of what to add here because definitely quarries are our bottom dwellers and it will be nice to have more fishes here. So maybe I might get the swat tails from the tub beneath to this tank. I think that would make more sense because um, the swat tails are actually quite big size and they can't go into my other tank. I think it would be, it would be nice if I can bring them to this tank and the beta over here. Um, yeah, so I think that concludes the process. Um, I just want to share this particular small story with you all. So, um, oh wait, I forgot to tell or show you what today's tank looks like. Here we go. Yes, I got the swat tails in here from the tub and uh, they looked amazing. So for the sand texture at the bottom and also for the light and the floaters at the top, they looked amazing and the beta, once the tank was really cleared with the blue light, he was also looking amazing. Thanks for watching guys.